Completing Beacon's Guidance is key to finishing up the Season of Plunder Scallywag title. Along with that, there are quests called the Cryptic Quatrains 1, 2 and 3. They are full of riddles and finding buried treasure. Well, today I'm going to walk through how to access the treasure beacons, plus go into detail on the, each of the Cryptic Quatrains quests so you can get your hands on the Charge of Light Sparrow. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. And before we get into the video today, let me know down in the comments what you think of this treasure hunt. I think it's something really, really different. Without further delay, let's dive right into this guide. And first of all, how to unlock the treasure beacons themselves. So to be able to access the treasure beacons, you have to rank up the star chart, which can be found at the helm. So you've got the small treasure beacon becomes available at rank 7, the medium treasure beacon at rank 10, and then the large treasure beacon at rank 16. Each treasure beacon contains riddles, and you have to solve the riddles to ultimately get that loot. Well, first of all, we've got the small treasure beacon, and this is Cryptic Quatrains 1. So when you pick up that first treasure beacon, you're going to get a quest called Cryptic Quatrains 1. And now you have that quest, you have to solve four riddles to move on to the next step. So step one, you've got a riddle here, it reads, My story begins as I hide from the crews. They search and will find me unless I hide soon. I'll wait on the nightfall, the cleverest ruse, and force them to hunt by the light of the moon. So what you want to do is look at the highlighted text, and it says, Begin search on moon. So all you need to do for this riddle is to land on the moon, go to your director and land near Eris Morn. Well, next up we've got step two, so there's another riddle here. Behind in the harbour, their sorrow was real. They lost what I'd taken, my heart filled with fear. From cruel revelation, the dawn would reveal. A chest broken, barren, and me nowhere near. So looking again at the highlighted text, you've got harbour, sorrow, lost, revelation, and chest. Therefore, what you want to do is head on over to the K1 Revelation Lost Sector, and you can find that in Sorrow's Harbour. Run through the Lost Sector, defeat the boss at the end, and the next step will open up. Well, next up we've got Step 3, so the third riddle reads, My eyes towards the cosmos, I let out a sob. I beg to the gods and the fallen alike. By bullet or sabre I fall to the mob, but please let me deal them a palpable strike. So again, look at the highlighted text. It says Cosmo, Fallen, a Sabre, Strike. So that one is quite straightforward. Select the Cosmodrome, the Director, the Fallen, Sabre, Strike, then complete the strike to open up the final step of this quest. Okay, for step four, the fourth riddle reads, The winds of Europa were frozen and white, and even the tides have been stopped by the cold. The hook would swing empty. I'd not die tonight. And by cranes they'd be searching but I'd keep my gold. So looking at the highlighted text, it says Europa, Eventide, Hook, Cranes, Search. Therefore, what you want to do is head on over to Eventide Ruins on Europa. There's several cranes here, so check out below the cranes, and then you're going to see a glowing pirate stash. Interact with it, and you will get some loot, map fragments, and a crude cipher fragment. Well, that is the first Cryptic Quatrains quest done. It's time to move on to the next one. Well, next up, we've got Medium Treasure Beacon and Cryptic Quatrains 2. So, step one, we got the first riddle, and it says, The bay filled my chest. Although drown, I did not. I coughed and shivered my way through the mist. They dreamed I was lost, my sad scarper for naught. Yet it was all that I wished for. It was tight in my fist. So, looking at the highlighted text, it says, Bay, chest, drown, mist, dream, lost, wish. And for this one, go to the Dreaming City and land near the Davilian Mists. Do A180 when you land and make your way to the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector. Complete that Lost Sector, loot the chest, then it is on to the next step. Step 2, the second riddle reads, I swore I was dead at the shore of the lake. Their shadows stretched along as I searched the debris. But though they did strike out at me and me take, their words found me ears, but they didn't find me. Highlighted text once again, so dead lake shadow strike. 
This one is nice and easy. So it's referring to the Lake of Shadows on the EDZ. So select that from the director, complete the strike, and it's on to the next step of the quest. Step three then, and the third riddle says, My long expedition led no reward. My bones cried for a rest, and yet I could not yield. Lest I hear the sound of crewmates drawn sword, I shivered with terror at what they might wield. Looking at the highlighted text, it says Expedition Sword Wield. So this riddle is a little bit more difficult, but all you need to do is equip a sword in your power weapon slot and make your way through an expedition activity, and that can be launched from the helm. Next up, we've got step four. So the fourth riddle reads, The red ground of Nessus would soon be my grave. A column reached high into alien hue. The cistern did beckon, no water it gave. At Pyramid's imprint, I sought to pass through. So looking at the highlighted text, Nessus column cistern Pyramid's imprint pass through. So for this one, land on Nessus, make your way towards the cistern near the pools of luminescence. There's a large column there called the Well of Flames. There's a door on one side, and once you get through the door, you will find the glowing green X. This time, there's no loot, but you do get the final riddle. Well, step five and the fifth riddle reads, My crewmates were nearing, t'was just as I feared. A terrible fluid did fall from the sky. I fancied I noticed beyond broken sphere, a place that was safe for my treasure and I. So looking at the highlighted text again, fluid did fall from the sky, broken sphere, treasure. So this one is slightly confusing, but don't worry. All you need to do is get on your sparrow, stay in the cistern on Nessus, and make your way to the northwest part of the map near the pool of radiolarian fluid, and there you're going to find a sphere, and inside that sphere you're going to find the treasure, and you can see it with a glowing green X. Well, that is it for the medium treasure beacon, but next up we've got a large treasure beacon, and this is Cryptic Quatrains 3. So step one, the first riddle reads, Was I still alive, still not dead, as I dreamed? My treasure not sunken, not lost in the deep? They caught not their quarry, I would be redeemed and bury him a knife in their chest while they sleep. So looking at the highlighted text, it said dead, sunken, lost quarry chest. So for this one, head to the EDZ and land in the sunken isles, go to the quarry lost sector, beat the boss, loot the chest, and then move on to the next riddle. Step two, the second riddle reads, I waded ashore after crashing their ship, me taking their treasure they'd never forgive. Me exodus doubtless curled many lips, I'd make them forget I had one life to live. So looking at the highlighted text, it says Crash Exodus, one life to live. So for this one, you need to complete the Exodus Crash Strike without dying. So this one can be a little bit tricky, given the amount of exploding shanks in the strike. Therefore, take it slow through the strike, be careful, and just don't die. Hello. Step three, the third riddle reads, They cursed as their catch crashed away through the trees. I moved as if lightning did arc through my bones. I felt like the maker had answered my pleas. While handy with cannons, they left them back home. So looking at the highlighted text, catch, crash, lightning did arc through my bones, hand cannon. So for this one, you want to complete catch, crash with your arc subclass and a hand cannon. And then when you open up the chest, it's time for the next step. So step four, the fourth riddle reads, alone with me Atlas, a treasure at last, I use my crude dagger to cut out a code. This cipher I'll place where it's held safe and fast. Two beacons will guide you if treasure you're owed. So looking at the highlighted text, Atlas crude cipher two beacons. So for this one, open up your captain's atlas and hover over the treasure map node. Select the crude cipher and place it into the captain's atlas. So for step five, We've got another riddle. I crept out at dusk, left my treasure behind, and failed my old crew and the captain as well. I'm light with a blade and my right hand's unkind, and they'll find their salvation dead centre in hell. So again, looking at the highlighted text, dusk, left, light, right, salvation, centre. So for this step, it's simply a puzzle, and it's basically telling you the solution. So in the captain's atlas, you'll find three slots for fallen icons, and the solution is, on your left, you want the house of dusk, in the middle, you want the House of Salvation, and on the right, you want the House of Light. So complete the cipher, and then it's on to the next step. Next up, the sixth riddle reads, The cosmos has set me ashore, I was free. Forgotten at last, my heat empty of hate. 
On deck of the vessel, to appointed to sea, I leaned on the mast and awaited my fate. So look at the highlighted text. It says, Cosmo sure forgotten vessel that pointed to sea mast. So for this one, go to the Cosmodrome and make your way to the Forgotten Shore and then make your way towards Veles Labyrinth Lost Sector and then you want to go south on the map until you find a ship that points out to sea. There you're going to find a glowing green X marking the spot, dig up the treasure and you're going to get your final clue. So for step 7 and the final part of the whole quest, you've got another riddle and it says I took all I had and placed it safe in a cave where stream joins its mother by pillars of three it's yours if you like, for you're clever and brave. You may find the treasure, but you'll never find me. So looking at the highlighted text, it says, Cave Stream joins its mother pillars of three treasure. So what you want to do is stay in the same area, get on your sparrow, and make your way back towards the hill you initially drove down to get there. And then to the left of that hill, you're going to find a small cave. Inside that cave is the final prize. And when you approach the cave, you're going to see the glowing green loot inside. Well, you're going to get a nice new Charge of Light Exotic Sparrow as a reward, plus you're going to complete the Beacon's Guidance Triumph, and you're going to need that if you want to complete the Season of Plunder title, and that, of course, is the Scallywag title. Well, I reckon this one has been a really fun quest, but let me know in the comments what you think about the treasure hunt. It'd be really good to hear what you think. Well, that is it for this guide for how to complete the Cryptic Quatrain's quest for Beacon's Guidance in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. I hope you enjoy the end of Season of Plunder. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you really soon.